Ah, uh, finally. Uh, we're almost to the point where we get to go to uh, Irithil. Uh, it's just past this catacomb. Hmm. Trying to think uh, what would be the best way to do it this time. Uh, I think I do remember one place we haven't been in here yet, and that's over here. I tr but I don't remember if there's anything really valuable back here, or if it's just a shortcut. At least I get that. I always need to check for invisible walls. Uh, there could still be one anywhere. That's one of my favorite moves. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think I remember now. Uh, in that case... Uh, the, the Indiana Jones uh, <laughs> is going to begin as soon as I get into the path. Or at least I think I remember that being the case. Ow. Oh, not again. <laughs> Uh, so being more careful this time. <laughs> that uh, decreased health so I'm going to replenish that partially to, in order to help with this and I'm also going to do this I <laughs> uh, see the problem with them shattering like that is that uh, that makes them invulnerable for a short period of time oh look at who it is Uh, I just need to wait. Uh, there. <laughs> uh, a secret that's very easy to miss and gives you a very good item. Oh, this one here is especially dangerous. I don't know what to deal with that one first, I think. Or at least if you can help it. Also, he regenerates. Oh, and this is why homing missiles. Eh, not ideal. On oh, this one as well. Now there's also a very similar effect with some of the urns in here. You're going to need to be careful of those. Like that one. But it's only the ones that are sealed. So the rest of them are fine. And now I have this thing, which I can't remember if it's useful or not. Hmm. Hmm, um, probably not. The other one, however, that's uh, sort of the counterpart to this one is useful uh, for multiple reasons, so I think I'll be using that one instead. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, oh yeah, this part. Uh, I hate this part. Ow. Oh, but look at what I can do. Oh, never mind. I, I didn't trigger it that time.
I'm pretty sure this one also regenerates. There. Trying to trick me. <laughs> And now this thing should still be here. And since the other one isn't here, it should be easy to deal with this time. Mm. Oh yeah, and you. It's really just like mowing grass at this point. Yeah, except for the, the kind of complicated parts, occasionally. Uh, that could have been useful, but wasn't. Uh, at least I attracted only one of them this time. <laughs> I'm going to try to be careful with uh, balancing health this time, also. Well, at least they're just giving away shards for free at this point. Also being careful of the hole in the ground. Uh, and this trap here in five seconds. Actually, I think that was a lot sooner than five seconds, probably closer to two or three. Uh, now that large shard is going to be useful later. And uh, not right now, though. Uh, also, this is the way to here, because the... Yeah. <laughs> I've been here so many times, it's, uh, it's a lot like, uh, uh, what would, uh, what would be a good comparison? Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now, I'm just going to focus on this. Uh, it's best to go now when it's moving away from you still. And it gives you the most time, the biggest window. And there are rats in here that I hate. As well as a few other things. Now that thing, much more irritating than the one that's similar to it but different. And of course the rats are on its side. Uh, since this weapon also has a backswing, I got the rats by accident. There. Oh yeah, and I'm just now remembering another thing right here. <laughs> uh, also trying to remember everything else in this area. Although this is the most important one uh, right now. Uh, uh, it seems this one actually has more health than the normal variety. This one also regenerates. I need to be careful. You can only stun lock it for so long. Especially with so little stamina. I haven't been leveling that very much. Especially not as much as I us usually do. Hmm. Oh yes, and that's, that's the controller of the other one. Uh, I think I should clear this area out first before doing that, though. Yeah, so that's actually a trap. Uh, so we can actually trap them, you know, them in the reverse, because they've made themselves vulnerable in setting the trap.
Oh yeah, and this is just another way to activate the same trap. Yeah. There. My problem solved. <laughs> and there's a dark gem. Yeah, that's useful for later. There's also this irritating thing back here. That I like to deal with first. There. And then the blood ring should be down here. And I'm almost entirely sure that's the one uh, that increases your invincibility frames when rolling, which is uh, <laughs> critically important. Oh, yeah, and I'm remembering something else. Uh, the slime is weak to fire. Oh, look at that. I forgot that trap was there, even. Oh, that's a lot of traps. Yeah, I forgot this hallway was filled with so many of them. Hmm, and I don't even really give anything good, usually. If ever. I don't ever remember a slime... <laughs> Uh, giving anything but souls. I'm going to just ignore that for right now, actually. It's more of an irritation than anything. Oh, that however is a problem. Oh, that's also a problem. I hope I don't die. Oh, I did. <laughs> well, never mind. This is also why I don't use embers very often, is because uh, this happens. And yeah, that's also from being haphazardous. Which, uh, in this case, is a sort of a sacrifice for being able to go faster. And so the, uh, the fastest way back to where we were just now is over here. That hole in the floor. I don't think these things can follow. Or if they can, it's not a big problem. I'm actually just going to ignore all of these for right now and just move as quickly as I can. <laughs> and this is also a trap hallway. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a mess down here. I don't think I missed any secrets in that area, so I'm just going to go back now. And there's also a few other things in this area I should look into before continuing. I think I can actually uh, bottleneck this thing into this hallway to make it easier. <laughs> Fell for my trap. Yes. Welcome to your doom. Uh, still, uh, still dropping a titanite. Oh, this thing. Being very careful with this thing because it's very valuable. Eh. Uh, if nothing else, for resale. Uh, I don't. I don't even remember the last time I used a fire gem. To be honest. <laughs> Ow. Need to be careful of that bleed effect. Uh, maximum damage. Oh yeah, I also forgot to put on the ring, by the way. So... Uh, in return for that one... I think... Hmm... This one... I don't think it's very useful. Or if it is, it's only useful under certain very in very specific circumstances that uh, are difficult uh, to sustain. Yeah. Oh yes, at the cost of defense. I forgot about that part. I think it's worth it though. Yeah, so uh, I'll at least give it a trial run. Uh, not forgetting this thing back here, even though it's almost worthless. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oh yeah, yeah, using this very strong power attack. Uh, annihilates them so quickly uh, that uh, you don't need to wait for them to uh, reassemble in order to destroy them because you can get them in one hit. Also, there's something up here. I uh, just need to take care of this quest line really quickly. Oh, yes, I thought. Yeah, they're kind of irrelevant, also. Oh, yeah, and I'm forgetting something actually. Uh, I'm going to need to run back here really quickly. And this is why. Oh, I forgot how many of these there were actually. So this time, I feel like I should actually just do this the normal way. There. There. Yeah, crisis averted. This is also a ladder, by the way. Yeah, but I'm not going to be using it right now. Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember this room. This is the one last trial before Irithyll. Uh, and on that pedestal over there, uh, you can see is uh, the thing we're looking for. But we'll deal with that later. Uh, we actually have other things we need to deal with first right now. And I think one of them is a bonfire down here that we should definitely look at first. Uh, and also we're going to need to backtrack in order to get back to something. Uh, also using an ember for something very specific. Uh, and this is how I like to deal with this area. I like to use them to destroy each other. Ah, uh, look at that. The ultimate power. <laughs> and now they're fighting each other. Oh, look at all that much. Look at all that damage. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't use it more. But I'm taking this. Also, I'm killing this. Stunlocking you like this. Oh, yeah, now we have this thing, uh, kind of valuable. Yeah, that's usually how I do this area. Uh, uh, what else can we do on this uh, sort of field trip? Yeah, this area isn't entirely valuable uh, yet. I uh, still need to do a few things first before it can become fully valuable. Uh, wasn't planning on this though. Uh, minor alteration to the plan. Hmm. Uh, so this part, uh, we're going to need to use this for this part. And it's also going to be very difficult, even with experience. And that's a trick also. Uh, don't go down until it comes back up. Which is also preying on your uh, your innate... Uh, uh, what is that called again? Uh, hold on. Uh, impatience. Yeah, so it's down. Oh wait, I forgot to do something first. I'll need to do that before I go down there. I'm also going to be just going past this. Oh, this is what I had hoped would never happen. Now this is uh, sequence breaking technically. So I'm just going to need to very carefully take care of the situation. Now hoping that things don't go too badly out of control. Yeah, look there. <laughs> So I'm just going to need to find a way to deal with this. Uh, 
Oh yes. He's weak to his own tactics. Ah, but so are we. Just need to be very careful. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I love these power attacks, though. You see, charging the power attack makes it even more powerful. And the added bonus is that you can also select exactly when you want the power attack to execute uh, in the charging process. And so you can have perfect timing, which is another thing that isn't talked about very often, or, or at least I don't think it is. I don't remember it being. Uh, we're actually going to be going back down to that area using uh, the, uh, the sort of a uh, ladder bridge. Uh, only this time not with skeletons everywhere. Uh, there. There. Ah, uh, pro tip. Holding space allows you to slide. <laughs> also, it makes you climb faster. Or... Yeah. So that's that uh, down there again. I'm uh, going to try to be some more uh, careful about this this time. Uh, but it all fell apart just then. Ow. Uh, turn into a projectile. I think these skeletons are the most irritating thing yet. Yeah, I have an idea. <laughs> uh, now we get all of those souls back, so we, now we have a surplus. Yeah, this is completely a trap, but I'm going to go into it anyway because it's not very bad anyway. Really nothing more than a slog at this point. <laughs> there, now we can go down here and do this. Uh, this is going to be something uh, partially useful to us since we are technically a pyromancer, but not immediately useful because we're not using it very much. Uh, definitely not a primary thing anyway. Uh, but now that we have this here, we have some more options. Uh, firstly, I'm going to go back to the shrine to do leveling and see what else we can improve. Ah, uh, this here, I think. Yes, we can use that now. 
Uh, actually, we're going to do that first. Yeah, uh, look at that percent increase as well as the the absolute increase uh, in damage. Very mathematical in nature. Pretty be careful. Uh, now to deal with this, the inevitable a leveling. Uh, this time, uh, either strength or endurance. Uh, probably endurance would be more useful. And we're back. Uh, we're only a couple of souls short, so we're going to be uh, liquidating some things here. Gracious, uh, this time, probably only this uh, will be necessary. Ashen one. And later we can do more. Welcome home, Verdant. Yeah, uh, 208 uh, more than is necessary, which is about perfect, or perfect enough. I'm not entirely sure how useful it is to do that, but uh, it's also not a terrible thing. <laughs> Endurance doesn't seem to level as quickly as anything else, probably because it's overpowered. Uh, so, uh, in the abandoned tomb, past that is uh, uh, the uh, the sort of a uh, demon area uh, where a lot of things are. A lot of progression is also uh, a lot of available uh, uh, avenues of pr progression. Hmm. Uh, I think we should probably try to get through this before going to Irithyll. Uh, since it is a branching path, it's also technically a dead end, just like uh, the cathedral here. Yeah, yeah this one. Yeah, so down here is just going to be a big cavern with a sort of a, a wet floor. Yeah. Yeah, it looks exactly the same as I remember it. Oh yeah, this is actually going to be the biggest uh, hazard right now. Uh, but it's also not going to be that bad since I know exactly how to deal with it uh, to begin with. So, option one is hiding behind these, and option two is just dodging them perfectly. Actually, what weight level are we? I can't remember if that's uh, medium or fast. Actually, I'm just going to take this off to see. Oh, uh, we're actually overweight. Oh yeah, I forgot how heavy this thing is as why. Well. It's very heavy, and so we're at medium weight right now. Oh yeah, and that's also partially why the flint ring is useless at this point. So it's a good thing we took it off. Hmm. There is also some useful things in here. Alright, uh, one second. Yeah, uh, in here. Yeah, kind of difficult to find. Very easy to miss. There, that's the first one, and there's a second one further down. And there it is, and that's also part of a trap, actually, so don't let it lure you out. You can try to do this. There. And then further in is uh, the other half of the trap, which is now disarmed and much easier to deal with now. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, nice. Ah. Uh, that was actually very intelligent of you. This, however, was not. Yeah, so that's not really a challenge either. Also, this is the bottom of that bridge area. <laughs> In fact, you could have fallen from that down to here. Uh, although you probably wouldn't have survived the fall. I do think there is one ring, though, that I have that prevents fall damage. Uh, no, not yet. I don't completely remember where that is, or where to find it. Actually, I suspect that might be part of going into Irithyll. So now just going to be going back. Yeah, uh, backtracking. There's also a trap over there. Uh, and a secret passage that way. I think I'll use the secret passage first, though. Yeah, so, down here. And then further down this way and then back around this corner being very careful that thing and that's all that's down this hallway but the other end of the hallway is something that's even more nefarious yeah uh, actually beyond that is a lot of bad things but here's the first part if you don't know how to deal with this, it's going to be dangerous. That's a very heavyweight enemy, and they're very difficult to stagger. And then there's this thing right here. And further down this way is half trap, half uh, secret uh, reward. Just need to be very careful of these two guards here. Uh, who are also semi-oblivious if, uh, if you enter in a non-traditional way. Uh, however, they did win this time because I was distracted talking. <laughs> I feel like this is enough for right now. They're kind of getting uh, information overload.